Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. This video is going to be going over a little how to take down Gwen Master uh, type video. And I'm trying to do this as timely, as quickly as possible, with all the relevant information you will need to take down this champion. Gwen Master is a complex champion to go up against, and depending on the path that you choose, she can either be very difficult or just mediocre. But the main interaction is that you'll have to do several prompts, plot armors as they're called or phases again whatever you want to call them and the signature ability and passive is on screen right now if you did want to pause the video and just kind of take that little bit of information some quick top tips for the champion is that depending on how skilled you are and how fun the fight you think you'll find it always have a good stash of revives 20 level one revives maybe 400 extra units for 10 revives champions that counter miss and inverted controls could be your go-to champions to build for this and as well practice intercepting as you'll need that to pause the timers. And top champions for the interaction could be the likes of Professor X or Mr. Sinister depending how you deal with inverted controls. Also champions that deal with miss you could have the likes of again Professor X you could have Nick Fury which are the particular champions I personally enjoyed playing around with this. It's not essential to have those but it's just one of these things of saying well they make it a little bit more enjoyable. There are six plot armors in total and they break down like this. First of all, you're looking to, in plot armor one, build prowess. This can be done by building enemy the enemy champion, enemy grandmaster, past that SP1 threshold, which you're going to see on screen right now. And this is inverted controls. This is why I'm utilizing the likes of Professor X4. It's my personal way of finding, it, finding this the most easiest was to get the enemy champion up close to a bar of power and then throw a special attack, an SP1, to get it over, which you'll see, boom, they're right on screen. Now, I'm sure there's lots of people that would go, oh, no, this is not the way you do this, this, and this. But at the end of the day, this is how I, I as a kind of a novice or kind of noob way of doing it, found this to be the most easiest, which you can see on screen, it worked. But something to point out is you have to be aggressive with the pausing of timers. But yeah, like the name of the game is to intercept in order to sort that timer out and pause it in place. So it's all about, again, timing like there. That's all about like timing there. You just have to practice that a lot and feel comfortable with it. Plot armor two, this is all about trying to do as many hits as possible. This is the kind of the kill monger section. And I would say with this, don't hit into the block because you will find yourself absolutely smashed when it comes to an unstoppable. I personally just like the way of intercepting into this or kind of chilling through it, letting it through SP1, come back again and do that process, especially because I found it easier to get down as you can see on screen and getting that nice chunk of damage go plot armor 3 is all about the shielding invisible woman style elements to this and in a nutshell just got to take down that shielding the champion does have miss as well which you can see boom we just kind of like hit him right there and as we're in phase two of nick fury getting those tactical charges is uh, a little bit easier and also you can get that kind of miss failed very very quickly uh, and i would say with this one it's like it just makes the champion and this interaction just so much more better to do and throwing in a nice sp2 in a minute as we've kind of taken down a good chunk of the shield you're just going to see that be completely obliterated right here got to play aggressively but at the same time good intercepts do, do actually mean that the time it's paused boom right there down to 10 and it's just very easy to kind of like i hesitated there were going back in and i should have done that by the way pause the screen at any time of any of these phases to make the situation as uh, as helpful as possible as again we take down more damage Plot armor for now, this is all about unique attacks. So you're doing a heavy attack, you're doing an SP1, you're doing an SP2, SP3, and uh, yeah, so those four unique hits that you've got to do. I personally, again, found that uh, quick, snappy, heavy attack throwers were good to get that particular one because it seems like there's like a, like a limber on and it's just a case of like, just again, being aggressive, getting a pausing up. And just some advice that on the screen if you want to pause that. FYI, uh, my my video footage of uh, this rest of the fight corrupted, which means I can't access it, which is really annoying because that's kind of the it's the best bit of footage that I had. So partway through corrupted, which is really annoying. But you know I'm carrying on and getting this video done in any case. But you can see on the screen just showcasing that uh, that pro process that I'm talking about. Four types of hits you have to do unique. I would say, you know, it's best to do intercepts as much as possible and time in as quickly as possible. You do get energized as well. Plot armor five now, armor breaks. This one actually is a pretty fun type of, uh, of plot armor that can come up, especially because you keep your distance 
and then you're able to uh, to kind of get armor breaks. Same principle as I've said with a lot of this stuff is it's all about pausing that timer. The only way you pause that timer is indeed by uh, intercepting as much as possible. So uh, keep your distance and get the armor breaks. You need 10 armor breaks and then do a heavy attack or a special attack and you will then put it to the next phase. So yeah, showing on showcasing on the screen. Watch out for cold snap, which you'll do you will get, I think, if you're very aggressive, if I remember rightly. So try to kind of like keep that distance with it and uh, you shouldn't get cold snapped. But yeah, like keep your distance, be aggressive, drop back a little bit, be aggressive again, drop back, refresh that timer, those kind of things. And finally, Plot Armor 6. I actually dislike this one the most, but thankfully in most cases I haven't had to go down to it, which is like, it's great. So with this one, you've got to stop those armor ups from coming on. And the best way of doing this is, first of all, you're instructed to do um, four lights. So medium, light, 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 light. That will remove an armor, but at the same time you have to do heavy attacks in order to heavy uh, counter heavies, so like uh, punish heavies. So basically, the Gwen Mast is going to throw a heavy attack similar to Gwen Pool, and she does that stagger forward thing. So as soon as she's staggered forward, right, you've then got to throw your heavy attack in a very quick snap in order to remove armor. So basically, do that, but practice. I would say get a Gwen Pool target and practice against that if you haven't done it already. Uh, but still, this should be a case of like medium, light, 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 light and then try to avoid the special attacks because you go auto blocked. But if you can, it's all about trying to stay in that block and have you uh, heavied and then trying to do that last little bit to, uh, to kind of like hit on that heavy punishing heavy attack. And there we go. That has been a little video all about how to do the Gwen Master. I wanted to make it as quickly as possible or kind of make this a very time sensitive one because I see a lot of guides out there that are kind of like, um, you know, upwards of 10 to 20 minutes. So I wanted to make a quick and snappy guide. I hope this helped out some people and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.